a big question that we're getting asked this year. It's around the new release of LTO6. And LTO6, it's the next generation coming up from LTO5. And, and what's that allowed for customers to have is a lot more capacity onto an LTO format than they've had previously. The most recent generation, LTO5, allowed for 1.5 terabytes of information to be stored on a single LTO5 tape. Now with LTO6, we're able to grow that to 2.5 terabytes of content in a single LTO tape when the size is exactly the same. The next thing that's increased is the, the, the throughput, the speed that you're getting on the tape. From LTO5, you're getting 140 megs per second native. And on LTO6, you're getting 160, so there's a slight bump there. What that's allowing to happen for customers is two key things. The first thing is, well, obviously more density. You're able to get more content in a single space, allowing for customers to save money, not having to expand out the size of the robots that they're purchasing. They can stay in the same footprint, if you will, and get a lot more space there. The second thing is, because LTO has uh, progressed in speed and performance, we're seeing a lot of customers starting to take the idea on, maybe I don't need to buy as much Prime or uh, NAS or SAN type disc, and they're able to buy smaller amounts of that and put a lot more down into a more cost-effective form of technology as LTO because it's fast enough now. So it's, it's a real popular thing, that's what we're seeing, and it's been a good show for us.